today's the day. I know I've got the universe on my side because I was able to cop one of the last available train tickets to Paris after striking. We literally have to bust a mission, so we're not wasting any time. As much as it pains me to skip the morning, Tim, we just don't have time, so we're just gonna wait till we get to the hotel in Paris. I feel powerful today. Even more powerful than I felt when somebody's son tried to reach out from the depths and I had to banish him back from whence he came. Healed girl fall is in full effect. This hotel's breakfast was so hard to say goodbye to. I've now seen behind the curtain of good breakfast and I am forever ruined. There's something about crustless bread that just seems like love to me. Eat just a little bit larger breakfast, don't know when our next stop is going to be, and pack some pano frisson for the road. It's funny, I've eaten more bread this entire trip than I have in my entire life and yet my skin is clearing up and I gain no weight which leads me to believe there's something going on with American food. The call's coming from inside the house. ADHD's first appearance today showed up as me forgetting my room key. Good morning Barcelona. Moment of gratitude and process the fact that we're in Barcelona alone and we're about to head to Paris. In the words of Randall Memphis Reigns, played by the great Nicolas Cage. Okay let's ride. I'm always genuinely curious what the baggage handlers at the airport are doing that's causing my lotion to explode inside of the bag. Also me. Goodbye, old friend. Cab ordered and my train should get me into Paris by three, which should be more than enough time to work out, relax a bit before going to scope out the locations where I'm gonna shoot this content. Nervous because it's the biggest brand deal I've done so far, but it's game time. It's giving Bilbo. Two hours later. <laughs> You're probably wondering how we got here. To put it mildly, Murphy's Law decided to show her ass today. And bad things happen in threes. Number one, my 15 minute trip to the train station is now turned into a 45 minute trip to the train station due to car accidents, leaving us five minutes to go through security and board our train. They stop taking passengers two minutes before departure and I'm literally at the gate as the sign changes to no more. I'm shoot away to the ticket counter and then shoot away again to an intake kiosk just to go back to the ticket out counter to be told that there are no tickets available to go to Paris. No one speaks English and my fragile American psyche has started to crumble. At this point, my energy is exuding damsel in distress, which is the perfect playground for predators, aka number two. And as a result, while I'm at the ticket counter, everything I have bought and brought up until this point is smoothly stolen. Fun fact, the embassy doesn't care about your stolen luggage and neither does the Spanish police. At first, they say they look at the camera. They say they looked at the cameras and didn't see anything. And then they say there were no cameras in my area. I can tell they're getting irritated at my American insistence slash ignorance. They pretend they're taking down a report, but when I ask for a copy, they won't give me one. They further insist that the only way to resolve this is for me to file a report in Paris. Only there are no trains to Paris and, due to a crippling fear of authority socialized into me from utero as a black American woman and high amounts of cortisol pumping through my veins from processing that I am now in a foreign country with nothing but my phone, laptop, and passport, I don't even register that that makes no fucking sense. I allow myself to be pressured on a train to Sobel and told to take the train from there to Paris. And it's on this train that I realized that they told me that just to get rid of me. Well, shit.